Sunday boss babes and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's your girl Mia the boss if you are new here and if you are new to my channel I would love for you to officially subscribe and become part of the family. Become a boss babe and for all of my returning boss babes you already know the vibes. New week, new vlog. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound too crazy. I had so much fun last night so I hope you all watched last week's vlog. I'm getting ready to finally go to the nail salon. It's 82 degrees. Houston just cannot make up its mind if it wants to be hot, if it wants to be cold, like, so I have on this super old, oops, I have on this super old outfit, it's from Everlast and Forever 21, and it's just like, it's crazy because as I lose weight, the outfit just continues to like, look so much better on me, <sighs> yeah, but um, I just called my ride because I need to actually go to the UPS store first and do an Amazon return. And then I'm gonna go get my nails done at two. So I'll see you guys in a few. Hey, told me about all your insecurities. What? Drag me like two hours to your family's house for what? Said you need some time, but I should stick around for what? Always felt like sticking around since I had to be done. But um, it's a like kids and shit in here. I like a little hookah place. So yeah, let's get some. I need to look at this camera and not look at the screen. But yeah, let's get some work done because I have to get the vlogs done. Hi, and my nails are so fast. My nails are fire as fuck. Good morning. I'm dressed in all white, like Lisa Ray. I don't know who I think I am. I love this little topical shirt. This is so cute. And yeah, I'm just wearing like an all white outfit, but we're about to head to Hello Sugar for my wax appointment. I just booked it this morning. So let's go. Let's go. Room. Back home and I got the new artwork from Ross like you saw. These are gonna be so perfect above this nightstand. Again, I got this nightstand from Minimod. It's really like a cherry color. I don't know if, if this is even gonna stay in my place. It's, I mean, it's functional for now. It's mid-century furniture. It's very beautiful, but it's just, it's too dark for, you know, my vibes. But yep, I'm about to get these hung up. So super excited about that. They look so good. Okay, cool. But I was recording and it, I thought I was recording and it, nothing was recording. So anywho, I found this handyman off of Instagram and he is coming to put together my nightstand and also he's gonna hang those two pieces of art. So I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, just, I've been here in this home for a year now. Of course, you know, I reduced my lease. I want to stay longer. Um, I really love my place. And I think just as you get settled in somewhere, you want to make it more homier. And I'm just doing like all the design aesthetics and just everything that I wanted in this apartment because I feel like, you know, this place is more grown up and my style has changed. It's evolved. You know, you all know what my apartment in Atlanta looked like. I was so over that style. Um, so I came here with nothing and furnished this place from <laughs> the floor up. 
So now, you know, the living room is basically done. I just have to do a few little touches, like, you know, pillows, things like that. But now, baby, we're moving on to the room, the bedroom. The bedroom needs, you know, this is where I lay my head at. My room doesn't feel as cozy as my old apartment did. I don't have a rug. I don't have nightstands. I don't have, like, all the little touches that I need. So now we are about to get this room together. Okay. So I'm excited for that because my bedroom is where I lay my head. Like, So I have one nightstand that someone ordered for me. Super excited for that. But I just got one because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit another one. I feel like I really can, but I wanna get this one nightstand assembled, put together, put it in its place, and then make sure I have another 32 inches on the other side because these are big nightstands. They're 30 inches tall, 30 inches wide. My bed sits really high from the ground, so I need a nightstand, you know, that matches that. So for you all who are like, you know, moving into an apartment or moving into a home and you're just kind of unsure about like, you know, how the sizing and proportionate proportion should be like in conjunction to the rest of your furniture, go on Pinterest. Pinterest will tell you. Because I hate when I see people have like these super big ass beds and your nightstands are super tiny. Like, and I know nightstands are very, very, very expensive, but shop sales, try to find dupes. It took me a long time to find nightstands because I was very particular about what I wanted it to look like. Because I have, I want my room to be very ethereal, very neutral, just very, very relaxed and warm. Um, cause I think the accent colors that I'm going to add in my bedroom are going to be chocolates or either like caramels, probably like caramels. I think that will look really, really good. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, he's about to come over to do everything and I will, if he wants to be on camera, because I told him I'll give him a shout out since he's kind of giving me a good deal. But all right, y'all, I'll holler at you in a minute. I'm about to make me a matcha. I haven't had a matcha in a minute and I need to do laundry and clean up and all of that stuff but I'm about to make a matcha and I'm about to start on laundry because I have hella laundry and yeah I got hella laundry so we will chat a little bit later I'll probably get on camera when um the guy from the mounting I think the handyman comes I don't even know his name, but yeah, I don't know his name. Oh, his name is Corey. Corey from Look Up Mounting. Hit him up if you're in Houston, if you need TV mounting, electrical, furniture assembly, picture hanging, curtain hanging, LED light rooms, my dog can do it all. And I found him from Instagram. Y'all say what's up to Corey from Look Up Mounting. He just hung up my new paintings I got today and my nightstand. I'm going to show y'all the nightstand in a second. But if you're in Houston and you're looking for a handyman who can do it all, hit up Corey. But tell him, you know, tell him about yourself, where you at. You know, uh, my name is Corey. Uh, I serve in the Houston area. I do uh, TV mounters, my main thing. And I also hang pictures up, you know, nice mm -hmm. and neat. Look how also, good this is, y'all. He did so good. Let me show y'all my nightstand. Right. I got this from Wayfair. He put this all the way together. And y'all know I don't be doing stuff, but look how good it is. He got everything together. So, yeah, y'all know. But, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, we appreciate it. Period. Y'all, I am so happy and pleased. Corey worked so fast. Everything looks so good. And the fact that I do have room to get another nice sand in here is crazy because I wanted the symmetry on both sides but I never really show y'all my room because there has really been nothing in here but now I'm getting everything together I need to get a rug just you know once I get the nightstands the rug and then my lamps and the mirrors and all the decor stuff comes later but the main thing for me when it comes to decorating is finding like those key staple like focal points that kind of like is what's going to bring the room together like how I did the wallpaper I knew you know the vibe I wanted to go with the wallpaper then I found this found this artwork at Ross today which was insane so yeah but I'm about to go to HEB because I want to make a salmon rice bowl and then tomorrow I want to do tacos so I got to go get the ingredients for that stuff and then I got 
Fashion Nova package that came in. So I got my Fashion Nova package came in. I need to hang up all this stuff and then I want to take some of the stuff with me for my weekend trip. I'm going to Atlanta um, again. Y'all know I can't stay away from the A. I can't stay away from the A. This dress is cute. Did I get this in a 1X? And did, because your girl is a skinty queen now. Period. I hope this dress fits. This is the one I'm worried about. It's so short. This might be too short, Mimi. Mm, we don't see. But I need to do some content today for show. So, and I got some capris. Let me turn on my lights so y'all can see. Yeah, these are gonna be good and stretchy. I got these in a 2X. I hope they fit. Like, when I say hope they fit, I hope they're gonna be like not too big. And then I got them in brown as well. They're like cute little capris. What's this? Oh, this is a matching set. Oh, this is cute. This is quality. Okay, fashion over. And I got this brown bandage dress. Sexy. I love fall because I can start wearing like all my cute neutrals, my browns, my olives, black. Baby, this dress got restocked. I ain't never put something in my cart so fast. I'm wearing this in Atlanta over the weekend. Mm-hmm. And then I have some Halloween content I need to do. I got this from Avid Love. This is so short. Like, this is not going to cover my butt. What size is this? Did I get this in a 3X? I hope I did. I hope I did. I hope I did. This is a 20. Well, we're going to see because I have... Your girl got work to do, but I haven't ate today. Basically, it's like I'm fasting. <laughs> Let me go get some... I'm hungry, like I, I feel it now. I'm gonna eat, shower, I've already showered. Well, I'm gonna shower again because I got waxed. So yeah, let me get my life together. All right, excuse my loud ass dryer. All right, so I got some gloves. I just be liking to have gloves, especially like when I do my hookah stuff, so. But yeah, I'm doing cabbage tacos tomorrow. Not cabbage tacos. I'm doing shrimp tacos with like a cabbage, like little flaw. And then I just got a green onion. I need this for my salmon bowl I'm about to make. Cilantro, that's for tomorrow. My lactose free sour cream. Got an avocado, that's for today. And then I got a mango. The mangoes for the salsa tomorrow. And baby, I'm lazy, so I bought a pre-made pico de gallo. And I would just cut up the, um, I'm gonna cut up the mangoes and add it to that because the mango salsa was expensive. Ain't nobody going for that. So I'm about to thaw out my salmon. It should be getting thawed. Yeah, my salmon's almost done, thawing out. And then we are going to make our salmon rice bowl, super easy. Anybody can do it. Lunch is complete. And I have a little bit for later or tomorrow. Camera's dying, gotta go. What's up, boss babes? It is much later, okay? I just met up with Khadijah and we got some content done. I love taking nighttime content, but um, yeah, and then before that, I was in my apartment building. I found like this new stairwell in my apartment. And I was like, wow, this is real cute. So I did some, I did a Halloween video over there. It's gonna be cute, super cute, super sexy. I'm dehydrated. But I just wanted to share something with y'all, like, and I think for anyone who has followed me for so long knows that like I've always loved like who I am and like my body and just like you know I've always just been very confident at any size but as I shed this weight I just feel like you know when you look in the mirror and you do one of these 
you do one of these, one of these, you just be like, wow, like, you know, it's just seeing the transformation happen in real time. And it just makes me have a greater appreciation just for myself and my tenacity and just, you know, just wanting to lose weight and just to feel better because me, baby, I just wanted to look better naked and in clothes. And when I look back at old pictures and videos of myself, I'm just like, wow, you really like, you got big girl, you know, and from, from, uh, and from someone who had weight loss surgery to gain like a lot of that weight back, it just wasn't okay with me. So now it's like, I'm, you know, losing weight and then I'm kind of like, you know, maintaining, but I haven't been gaining. I did gain weight when I, of course I, I've told y'all this when I got off the terzepatide, but you know, your girl's good. I'm at 291 right now. I need to get to 285 very soon. And then, you know, just keep going from there. We have two months left of the year. And if I can just bang out another 10 pounds, I would be very, very happy. But I would love to get to like 15. <sighs> yeah. But um, I need to get some content posted. And I took all the laundry out of the dryer and threw it on my bed. And yeah. I feel like I, I could be like rambling right now, but I really don't want to ramble. Um, but... You know how in my last vlog I was showing y'all how I did my hair or whatever and the diffuser was cool and all but I just have to leave it alone. Like I have to get the hair super wet and just let it air dry because now it looks perfect, baby. Perfect. So this is how I wanted my hair to look. So love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I'm just having a good day, you know, I got my artwork hung up in my room, got my nightstands, like my house is starting to feel so homey and I absolutely love that for me. And I think just for anyone who doesn't really understand, it's just like moving from Atlanta and starting completely over, having nothing. In my last apartment, I had curated a vibe, like I made that apartment like a home, like everything was in its place, everything was just, it was perfect in that apartment. So now it's like, you know, I've been here for a year and I really just want to bring that same energy. Well, really not that same energy. Let me find a different word. I just want to have, just bring that same sense of wanting to make my place a home. And just to see the journey of like curating a new space and adding pieces and finding those like little touches and all of that. Like I was so excited to share with my mom and my friends. Um, like the artwork I found because baby, when you be going to home goods, those paintings be like 80 90 a hundred dollars and i found two two paintings for 80 dollars, which is crazy so i'm loving my bedroom i can't wait to you know show you guys more and when i get my whole home finished how i like i'm going to have somebody come and take a bomb video of the crib so i'm rambling i need to get out of this outfit i need to also film something else so i'm gonna do that probably make a hookah and be in the bed by 12 i love you all and listen, if you are not following me, follow the girl. If you're watching this video and you haven't, hit the subscribe button below, follow me, okay? I am on a true, genuine, authentic road to 10,000 subscribers, 10,000 boss babes. We are almost there. And yeah, it's been a year and a half since I have proved myself to be consistent on this channel. And I hope you guys see my hard work, my growth, my editing skills, my quality, like if you can see those things, leave me a comment below because I want to make sure I'm making content that my boss babes like to see. All right. I know I said a whole lot and that's my Gemini mind, but I'm sorry, but I love y'all. Let me go. Bye. <laughs> Morning boss babes. It is Thursday, October 24th. I've been off camera for a few days. Your girl was going through it. Okay. Let's have a little talk real quick about the downside and the side effects of GOP-1 medications. I'm getting ready to go for my hot girl walk, so I'm talking and we chatting, okay? Um, hopefully y'all can see me because I don't feel like turning on any lights. Okay, so I started feeling kind of like, ugh, on Tuesday, because I ate some eggs, and normally if I eat eggs, I'll poop, right? I had this little breakfast taco. I barely freaking ate it. It was like potatoes and eggs. It was so nasty. But y'all, I started getting like a tightness in my stomach and I um, 
I was like, oh my God, I don't have to go to the bathroom. And then I started thinking about it like, girl, when is the last time you had a bowel movement? That is the downside of GLP-1 medications, constipation and not having a regular bowel movement. And if this, and if this is TMI for you, just skip right on through this part. But if you're a weight loss journey girly, you need to listen up, okay? One of the things about GLP-1 medications such as Ozempic, Munjaro, aka semaglutide, terzepatide, is that these medications slow down your digestion, right? So when your digestion is slowed down, all the stuff in your stomach just sits in your colon and it can dry up because it's not, it's not passing as it should, right? That's horrible. So you have to, you know, do things such as supplement extra vitamins, get your fiber in, drink water, exercise. Um, all of those things really help with just getting the bowels to flow so you can poop regularly. regularly. So of course, you know, I've been getting in my water. I've been putting in, um, I put fiber inside of my water. Like I'm about to fill this back up and put some fiber in there. And um, so yeah, so y'all, I couldn't poop the whole day and then it started to become like back pains. Like it was hurting so bad, my back was hurting. And I just had like a knot in my stomach. So later on that evening, I went to HEB. I bought like a little bottle of magnesium citrate. I bought some women's laxatives and I took three of those. And then I bought some prune juice and I drank like a shot glass worth of prune juice, right? So then I felt like everything was moving like I was about to poop. Y'all, I could not even poop. So I was up to like maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning just like really thinking that I was about to poop. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. So I was like, dang, you know, this stuff was not, like my concoction was not moving. It wasn't moving um, as fast as I would have liked it to because it said it could take a half an hour up to six hours. But y'all, the next day, which was yesterday, I had diarrhea like three times. And that's not ideal, but I can say I feel so much better. Diarrhea is not cool because it's liquidy and, you know, it's just all of that stuff I took that was just breaking down the poop in my stomach and my colon. So, yeah, I feel a lot better. And I really hate to say it that... Um, it's just one of those things. However, I was on Instagram, no, I'm sorry, I was on Twitter yesterday and one of my Twitter followers had wrote me and um, had mentioned something that she buys, like Philium Hus powder. So I was like, okay, maybe I can try that. But she said it's been helping her go more regularly and I need to be pooping every day, every other day. I don't know how many times you guys poop every day, but... Yeah, that's my rant. So I was not feeling good Tuesday or Wednesday. And I was like, I don't even feel like picking up the camera. But y'all, after I took that last poop yesterday, I got on the scale and I was 289. I was like, oh my God. But my scale died. So I'm about to go get batteries. I'm about to go run some errands. You guys always see me scratching my nose. I'm sorry. Oh, I have allergies and the outside of my nose always itches. But anywho, I want to show you all this PR package I got from Topicals, y'all. Because ever since I attended their Texas, like, cowboy boot camp or the hoedown event, I've been on their PR now. So this is my first thing from Topicals. So it is the Slick Lip Duo. Collect, slick, repeat. Our Slick Lip Duo features two full-size lip balms for double the hydration. This limited edition bundle is powered by Topicals Clean Technology and Triceramide Complex. Keep one on your nightstand, one in your bag, or give to your friend. Slick mouth, period. Then they gave me another eye patch, which I love. And I'm going to create some really cute content for them because I have a Topicals hat, a Topicals like little tank top. But I got the Lip Duo and I've been, I used it for the first time today. This stuff is good. This stuff is real good. It has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and rice bran wax. Mm-hmm. This is going with us. And it had two in here. And then it also had a Topicals Active Scar Primer for acne-prone skin. Love that. Thank you, Topicals, so much. I'm always happy when brands reach out to me and consider me and recognize me to just want to put me on their PR. So... 
super happy for that. And yeah, now I got some goodies to take with me on my trip this weekend. So yeah, first we gotta take our allergy medicine because I'm not about to be outside sniffling for my life. Okay. I'm just reading what's in this fiber. So if I take two tablespoons, that is four grams. Maybe I might try out this philium husk. I'm gonna do some research on philium husk today because I just don't wanna be that girl anymore. Is this teaspoons or tablespoons? Teaspoons. I have to, I'm about to take a tablespoon. Tablespoon. We're about to just put it in the water, just like that. So, yeah, we're about to get this hot girl walk in. I woke up this morning like around 8.20 and then um, immediately started folding clothes because I'm traveling Saturday morning. My flight is at 6 a.m. I am not an early morning flight girl, but that's just what I had to do this time. So, yeah. I need to tidy up. I hate when I be running my errands and I come home and my place is a hot ass mess. Like, the book. All right, I'm back from my walk, y'all. Let's check to see how we did. So I walked for a total of an hour and 26 minutes. I did a total of 2.67 miles. Burned 448, wait, I burned 693 calories. I wanna know how many steps I walked. Let's get to that part, okay? I don't even know how to use this Apple Watch, y'all. Okay, here we go. All right, I walked 6,330 steps. Ooh, I hit one of my rings. I did 6,390 steps, 3.8 miles today. That's great. All right, my Amazon package came. I had to order some face masks because I do not play about the plane. I wear my mask on the plane, baby. Okay. And that's all, period. I got some more masks. The dollar store, I was so shocked. So I just got some little snacks. This is like something I like. And then I had to get some more of these little travel bottles. I put like my soap and stuff in there. And then these, they had a 60 pack of these. These are my favorite little dental floss. I'm gonna put this in my travel bag. And then I needed batteries for my scale. And then I just got some candy for the plane. So these are just some extra snacks that I got. I had to go vote, but I'm like, damn it, it's lunchtime. I know everybody named mama is gonna be trying to vote during lunchtime, so let's just pause on that idea real quick. So, about to just tidy up my shirt. Get to it. 
All right, boss babe, I'm back. It's much later. <sighs> I just want to apologize in advance for being a bad blogger. And sometimes I think like when I'm doing like my beauty maintenance and stuff like that, it's nice to be able to get that content, but also getting beauty maintenance is not really therapeutic. Like people think it is. Getting a pedicure is not, it's not like all roses and stuff. I be wanting to get out of there and I don't like when they massage my legs either. So I am putting on these retinol eye patches from MediHeal. These are cool. They just slide a lot, but they feel so good. Oh, they just feel so good. So good. Y'all see how my skin is glowing? Skin is glowing, baby. All right. Ooh. And I'll link these. They're amazing. And nighttime skin. The TPH. Glow off. Well, this is called Anything Glows. I love this stuff so much. It's just so good and lightweight. Like, normally I wear this like on special, like going out occasions, but I just love smelling good when I go to sleep at night. I just feel so luxurious. Like, a little nightcap. Let me get a robe. So I'm about to um clean up. Tomorrow's about to be a busy day for me. Um, I have a Halloween party I have to go to. And I have like some other stuff I need to do. But where's my beauty? I just want to clean my bathroom and put a little bit of load of laundry and the washer, I washed my sheets. I wanted to go to Target to get all new sheets and comforters from Casaluna, but baby, I was tired. But um, just a breakdown of my day. Went and got my nails done. Or sorry, I went and got a pedicure. I took all the acrylic off of my big toes and started over. They look great. So, then I went and got my eyebrows threaded. My girl, she be doing her thing. Mm -hmm. she be doing a thing after i left my threading appointment i went to mary's i was in the uptown galleria area and i was like okay i got my computer let me just try to go edit my blog there wasn't really much to edit but i just wanted to get ahead of the curve considering i'm traveling this weekend cool so i get to mary's and then i see this little midget Remember I told y'all this story about how this guy ghosted me when I came out to Houston in August to look for apartments. We went out, cool date, went to 13, went, we had like a good time. So he's like screaming my name and he's with this hideous girl, hideous. And um, he was like, come here, come here. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm doing work. Like, so then he comes over to me and he was like, um, like, like, what did I do to you? I'm a child of God. And he said, he was like, like, what are you doing? I said, I'm working on my YouTube video. I do YouTube as well. He's like, oh, I didn't know you do YouTube. I was like, there's a lot of things that you don't know about me. Oh yeah, then the first thing he tried to hug me and I just like patted his back. And he was like, oh, that's what you do to me? I was like, and then he asked me to send him my YouTube channel on Snapchat. And I was like, I blocked you on, I blocked you on Snapchat last year, baby. Like, like what you think this is? So then he was like, do you need anything? Like, do you want some wine? Mind you, him and the girl had a bottle of wine over there. But on Thursdays at Mary's, you can get hookah and wine for $31. I don't drink wine like that, so I would decline. You over here asking if I need anything, buy all my shit. Like, pay for my hookah, pay for my food. Like, ask if I want to drink. He went about his merry way. It was a bunch of Nigerian guys coming in there. And then this one guy just kept staring at me. And I was like, do he know me or something? Like... And y'all, my intuition about stuff is always right. So I saw him take out a pen and he was like writing something down. I was like, I know he ain't about to write his phone number down and have like a waiter or somebody give it to me. 
But he just kept like staring at me and stuff. So then I thought he was leaving. Then nigga came back. So when I asked for my check, and this is a pet peeve, I'm about to tell y'all, you know, give the waiter my car, give my debit card so I can pay, pack it up my shit because my Uber is like about to be there. This Negro comes and talks to me. He was like, I didn't want to, in I didn't want to intrude. Um, but, and he gave me his card. He was writing something down. He wrote his cell phone number on his card. I was like, okay, I'll hit you up. And then my server, his little messy ass, he was like, I don't like stuff like that. Don't try to come talk to me after I pay my bill. You're sitting there plotting, writing your phone number down. You could have went and grabbed the server and said, yo, you know, pay, like, I'm gonna take care of her, her tab. I don't like energy like that. It's just, and not saying, yo, I feel entitled like somebody should pay my tab, but it's just like, that's how you get my attention. Migas. But anyways, y'all, I will not be going back to Mary's for a while because my bill was $91. 12 of that was gratuity. And then the server stood over me while I was like, it's a part that says additional tip because I was about to just round up to 100. And I was like, hold the fuck up. You already got $12. And I don't even like that server because he's always talking about tips and money and this. Like, I don't like that. Like, just, ugh. So anywho, I came home. Then my Uber driver was so chatty and was asking me, just chatty, too damn chatty. I'd be tired, y'all. I just, especially being like a single black woman, I don't know. It's like you're already an Uber driver, so we're already in close quarters. You're making it awkward. Like, don't ask for my fucking phone number. I told him my phone was dead. That shit was like mad weird. Weird. I'm about to do a blitz clean. I'm about to clean the bathroom. Then I'm gonna put the sheets on my bed. And then I'm going to throw a load in the washer machine. <sighs> yeah, y'all, I'm tired, but I don't want my I don't want to come home to a dirty home. So let me do that. And I'll chat with you all tomorrow. And then Saturday we headed to the A. To the A. To the A. Good night. Good morning, boss babes. It's finally Friday. This week has dragged and dragged and dragged, but it is 9.33 a.m. I'm up eating my little Kodiak French toast stick breakfast. I was so exhausted last night, y'all, and I had to get off camera, but last night, <clears throat> only thing I did was take my semaglutide shot. I injected in my left thigh. I was rotating in between my belly button. So I just want to go back to injecting in my thigh to see if that causes any issues. Because sometimes when I inject in my stomach, I feel like I have like stomach cramps sometimes. So we're going to see. But I'm up, about to update Shot Mia's closet. And I also have to send up, I have some, um, some orders I need to send out. I have a package. A package from who? My credit score increased. Okay. A win is a win. A win is a win, baby. Period. Mm. But I was trying to um I was checking in for my flight today. And it just kept telling me I had to pay for a bag. And I was like, why would I pay for a bag when I have a Delta credit card? So, realized that my flight was never linked to my SkyMiles number. But, yeah. But yeah, y'all, we're just getting some stuff, getting some business handled. Tell me why I've been craving a coffee, an iced coffee. 
it's kind of weird. But when I get to Atlanta, there are so many places I want to go. And try. But I'll holler at you guys a little bit later. I have a lot to do. You hear my washing machine go. I'm doing laundry because I have to do some final packing. And yeah. Good morning. Happy Friday. Good morning, boss babes. It's early as fuck. It is two minutes. Oh, we got to go downstairs. Oh my gosh. All right, my Uber's here. We're about to go to the airport. My driver's almost here. Bags at the door. It's up here. Outfit's really cute. So I will see you all at the airport. I am so happy I checked to see which airport I was flying out of because baby, why am I flying out of Hobby? And I thought I was flying out of Bush. But um, Hobby Airport is definitely closer. The Uber was definitely cheaper. It was like $60 to go to Bush. I'm like, why? It's four o'clock in the morning. But um, all checked in, all that good stuff. I have TSA pre-check. It's super early. My flight does not even start boarding for like a whole nother hour. So I don't even think anything's open where I can get like a drink or anything. But I don't even want to fuck up my stomach. I'd be so scared to eat or drink before I get on the plane because I don't want to have to fucking take a shit. But um, yeah, we just checked in. About to get on this flight. So let's go. bedroom slash closet at the Brianna Amores house. <laughs> I had such an early flight. Oh my god, the sun's in my eyes. But I had such an early flight. Um, I came here and crashed. Crashed. I was so tired. But it's like, oh, excuse me. It's like 2.30. We're about to go to this new little healthy place called Toastique about to walk to it because it's in Midtown and clearly we're in Midtown so I'm excited I'm gonna bring you all along with me so let's freaking go I'm starving and yeah we have dinner reservations at this new restaurant later y'all know the vibes fine dining get the content done good vibes that's the theme for the weekends and all that good stuff but yeah Let's go to Toasty. Yeah. Oh. I've been with Triplet, I've been with Flynn, I've been so long, where do I begin? Since I caught you on that ice, you got no chill, no more Never try to waste your time, ain't never try to waste Alright, we're all dressed, it's much later, y'all my cycle came, your girl is feeling ugh But I got it together so I could get dressed, but love the outfit, I'll be vlogging from my phone of course but we're about to go to this new restaurant called Wagyu House. Hard to get a reservation, but we got one. We got one. I'm super excited. But the thing is, it's Wagyu. Y'all know I don't eat beef. I'm here for the sushi, the unlimited every all besides. So I'm going to have to pick like a beef dish. But I'm going to vlog from my phone for the rest of the night so you all can kind of get the vibes and see what the place is like. But yeah, outfit is super cute. And I'll show you guys more. Yeah. 
super fun um we went to wagyu house a new restaurant that is in atlanta super cool just checked in i'm here until wednesday i'm kind of like irritated because i told her i did not want a connecting room and this room is connecting but the room is cool spacious whatever i'm just ready to shower um yesterday was the first day of my freaking cycle and i was just irritable and then just feeling gross so i just want to shower get relaxed and um i have a lot of content that i need to do today so i think around seven me and brie are about to link back up so we can try to knock out some content um but yeah weather's cool it's nice and like 75 ish so but i had a really good time yesterday we went to this new restaurant called wagyu house wagyu house is like a korean barbecue it's like in midtown like in that interlock type of area um, midtown atlanta is growing honey it is so many cool restaurants like new apartments just like a lot of cool nightlife bars it's really cool but like the way that they advertised wagyu house on social media was like it was very exclusive and it was like fine dining i don't really think you can really make korean barbecue fine dining um but yeah and they were like they make reservations like very very restrictive to like get in but there's even like a buffet inside which i thought was like kind of yeah but the place was cute it has a very beautiful 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 view of like the skyline of atlanta and for this to be korean barbecue it was actually really 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 good um i don't eat beef but you get like unlimited size like you can just keep ordering and ordering so as y'all saw we had like sashimi carpaccio hand rolls calamari truffle fries there was soup bao buns there was even a freaking fried lamb chop so the pricing is great for what you can get oh yeah i got scallops we had salmon so i was very very surprised at how good everything was um so they have like different tiers you can do silver it's like three tiers. Silver was like the lowest one. That one's like $55 per person. We just got that one because it was the sides that really like sold us, you know? Um, the drinks were good. I had the lychee blossom. That drink was so, 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 so good. So would I go back? Mm, if I do go back, I would go sit at the bar, but I don't like having to cook my food in front of me. Like that's not appeasing to me whatsoever, but it's really, really cute um so yeah then after that we went out to living room it was my homie's birthday so that was fun so night one in the a was fun eventful i looked so good i got some really good pictures in and yeah so i'm about to get settled in the room take a shower clean myself up and then i need to get some content done so i you know i just want to kind of organize everything hang some clothes up in the closet i'm going to be here sunday monday tuesday wednesday so yeah and I'll be a little bit more active with vlogging because, you know, I'm just kind of like a little bit more stationary, more comfortable and all of that good stuff. But I just wanted to come on here and say happy Sunday and just chat with y'all for a little bit and give y'all the rundown of what's going on. But yeah. Target. I went to Target. Sorry, y'all. Oh, I had to put my bonnet on. But I went to Target because your girl's on her cycle. I'm trying out these, these pads. They better be worth the damn because they're so, it says they're like they're thin. So, wow. Being on your period while you're on vacation is 
insane. And of course, I got candy. I'm obsessed with Twizzlers. And then I got these little snackety snacks. Mm -hmm. And then I got this raspberry lychee drink. Six gram of sugar is 40 calories, but it's a prebiotic probiotic drink. It's good. Then I had to get some more body wash because I only bought a little bit. And then I got some meds. Which we're about to fucking take. Alright. Alright. The lounge opens at 5, so I can go in there and get like free little hors d'oeuvres and such. So it's 326. I'm about to shower and get myself together. Okay. I'll be back. I like took a nice shower and I just went down to the club lounge to get a little snack. So if you're like a Marriott, I think like you have to be gold or platinum or titanium. You can go into the club lounges for free. It'd just be a bunch of like little stuff. Crudite, hummus, dips, fruit, things like that. There's something to hold me over until later, but honestly, whoop, whoa. I might not even eat anything later because I'm eating this. I'm about to just munch on this and then get dressed because I have some content I need to do. Mmm. Olives are so good, but they're salty. That medicine click kicked in, baby. I got a little cranberry juice. And I got some Don Julio. When I bought this bottle weeks ago, I brought it with me. My homegirl was like, just bring it. I was like, cool. Mm -mm -mm. I have today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, of being here, so... That's actually a lot of time for me to be here. So, yeah. All right. I'm already over this. Maybe having breakfast and stuff, too. So, the breakfast might be better. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. I will... Talk to you later. Okay, so I was filming a reel and I finished it. Let me get some more light for y'all. There we go. So I had to film a reel and I filmed the reel and edited the reel. The bitch look good. Let's make a little drink. Ooh, why did it do that? Damn. Um, this is kind of cold too. So, waiting for Brianna to come over so we can, um, I gotta help her do a reel and then I need her to take like two pictures of me because that's what I'm really behind on. I mean, I have a lot of content to do while I'm here. When I come to Atlanta, the goal is to get content done because, hello, my friends are here to help me. But, um, cheers. I think it is insane that like, when I lived in Atlanta, Houston was like my escape place to go. And now that I live in Houston, coming back to Atlanta is my escape place to go. My makeup looks good. But yeah, I brought like so much equipment with me. Let me show y'all this. Oh. That is too damn bright. Turn it down. Turn it down. See how bright I am? It's really bright. But um... I'm feeling myself right now because this outfit is cute, girl. Let me show y'all. The body is bodying, okay? Like, the body is bodying. It's super cute. Like, y'all gotta. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
yeah. <laughs> Brianna's like, you should wear that tonight. So I'm like, girl, this outfit is too... <sighs> I'm on my period. I want to wear pants so I can move around. But I don't know. I might put this back on. It's cute. I want to get a picture in it, though. <sighs> yeah. But, all right, was just checking in with y'all. I will holler at y'all tomorrow. It's Sunday fun day in the A. So, be outside. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It is Monday evening. I'm getting ready to go do content. <sighs> y'all, last night was crazy. Insane. Craziness. Um, I don't feel like going to get my other tripod, so I'm using this one right now. The last night was insanity. Too much fun. I had so much fun. I was in the parking lot of Experience last night. Like, I was about to go in. Hold on. So, yeah, we were about to go in Experience, but we ended up changing and going somewhere else. And there was, like, this dude in this black bins. Or maybe it was gold, but they were just like creeping like next to the car. And I was like thinking like, okay, is it is it my friend? I was like, no, that's not his car. Y'all, this dude rolls down the window. And I was like, do you know me? And he was like, yeah. He was like, he's on your friend. And then he said his name. And I was just like, I knew who he was, but I used to like date one of his friends briefly talk to one of his friends, whatever you want to call it. This was back in like 2021. And I was just like, I said, you don't, you've never talked to me. Like he'd be outside with people that I know, but me and him have never had like a conversation before. So it was just weird that you were talking to me because I'm just like, where is this energy coming from? I'm so confused. But... Yeah, I had fun. I went to Highness. Then we went to Sheba. Then we went to this new after hour spot called Ecstasy. My homeboys opened up Ecstasy. So if you're in Atlanta and you want like a cool after hour vibe, fuck with Ecstasy. It was fun. It was fun. But yeah, I have a lot of content that I need to do still. <sighs> So, I have a list of all this stuff, all right? I've posted that. So, I have, I have three more pictures I need to take and two more reels. So, I'm going to try to get some shit going with that today. Yeah. So... Trying to get as much content done as possible. I gave myself like a deadline of when I want to be finished. So, yeah. Yeah. So content is what I'm about to get ready to go do. And I'll pick the camera up when I am going to be headed out to go meet Brianna. Okay. So... Hopefully, I'll have something interactive and fun to do for y'all today, tomorrow. Um, I don't know. It's cold as hell here, y'all. So, I had to go buy a sweatshirt at Forever 21. And thank God, the sweatshirt I found was on sale. The sweatshirt was $3 and, like, some change. It was like, I don't know. But let me do my makeup, and we will chat when I'm back, when I'm dressed and stuff, okay? I need to focus. Girl, come on. Hold on. Y'all, it's 11.32 and me and Brianna are at this apartment in Midtown, like, doing content. Look at her. But y'all, my Halloween pictures are about to come out. Fire is hell. And yeah, I know I've been missing a little bit today, but I just wanted to come here and say, hey, behind the scenes content, I know it's always hard for me to get that for y'all because, <laughs> When you trying to get the content, baby, you gotta get the content. Mm -hmm. All right, where's the bathroom? Upstairs. Can we can we get upstairs? Oh, 
mean, are we going to have to walk up those stairs? No, we can take the elevator. Oh my god, is that purse? I'm never, this purse is a waste of fucking money. Why? Why y'all? Good morning, good afternoon, what's up? Um, oh my god, I'm getting crumbs in the bed. Shit. So we're still in Atlanta. I just broke this cookie all in the bed. Oh my god. Fuck. But, yeah. I'm in Atlanta still. I'm in a hotel. It is like 12... 27. Today, today's agenda is um to finish some content. Y'all know that's when I when I come to Atlanta, that's all I'm trying to get done. I have two pictures I need to take and I want to do a reel. So yeah. We getting it done, baby. But I just want to come on here and say, hey, I want to try this coffee shop because I'm in Buckhead. It's close to here. So after I um got the shower and all that stuff, I think I'm going to go there and do this real. I want to do, but all right. See y'all soon. All right, it's Wednesday, October 30th. This is the day I'm supposed to be going home. Well, I am going home today, but y'all, so much has happened this morning. And when I get home, we will talk about it. But right now, I am hungry and thirsty, and I'm going to satisfy those things first, okay? So, I don't know. We're, well, we're about to walk. Go for a walk. Maybe I should bring my... I'm not even bringing this. I'm just going to bring my wallet. That's it. Oh, yeah, chapstick. Ear pods. Damn. All right. The lighting. Oh, okay, the lighting is good right here. But, yeah. We're going to talk, y'all, okay? I have a lot to catch y'all up on. Here we are back at the crib. Y'all, I just got back from Atlanta. <sighs> just got back from Atlanta. Today has been a crazy day. It's hot and humid and sticky here. Um, I'm just so grateful to be back. And thank you, God, for just allowing me to get back home safely. Thank you for the travel mercies. Because your girl cannot even hear out this ear right now. I don't even know how my ear popped. Insanity. But I'm about to shower because... I gotta get this plain filth off of me and I'm gonna fill y'all in on this crazy day I had but I can't do it tonight because I just came home I had two packages outside my door my other nightstand came um then I got another package we're gonna open that up and talk about that in another vlog and what else and I don't feel like unpacking tonight. I'm about to take out the stuff I need, but let me get in the shower because I feel icky, like traveling when you're on your period. Gross! What's goody boss babes? It is Thursday, Halloween. Um, if you haven't seen my Halloween Instagram post, go like it because your girl <sighs> chomped it up. Chomped it up, okay? All right, so I just got back from Atlanta last night and your girl got a little cold because it was freezing in Atlanta and it's hot as hell here, okay? I am home. I haven't even unpacked yet. Like y'all look at all this mess. All my suitcases are still here. I got packages and stuff. I'm so congested. I took some, 
I am so congested. I took some Sudafed this morning. This stuff be helping. This is the truth. But let me tell y'all about yesterday. I was so, so, so overwhelmed. So I stayed at the Westin Buckhead since Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, checked out Wednesday. So I don't even want to go into the details about what happened. But um, the hotel staff was just so disgusting. And um, well, I'll tell a little bit about what happened. But I woke up on Wednesday. I had a late checkout for four because, you know, I'm platinum with Marriott and I can get like late checkouts and stuff. But whoever was in the connecting room next to me and I requested a check in that I did not want a connecting room, whatever. Anywho, I was woken up on Wednesday morning because I heard someone like vomiting and they just kept coughing and I could hear it because, you know, if it's a connecting room, the person was loud as hell. So mind you, this was like 830 in the morning. I don't check out till four. I requested if I could just go to a new room. They were like, oh, you're you're checking out today and just giving me all these excuses, like basically putting the burden of them on me as the guest, which I feel like is unfair. So then I asked to speak to the general manager, ask if I have his information. Then the manager got on the phone claiming he was a general manager. He lied. I Googled who the general manager was. Long story short, I've been composing this email. I was typing it up like yesterday and when I was on the plane that I'm going to send to the general manager. Then they moved me to a new room. They finally gave me keys to a new room. Then while I walk in that room, that room was dirty. It was like somebody laid in the bed. The sheets were all pulled back. I didn't even walk like all the way in the room. So don't stay at the Western Buckhead. I don't ever stay there. So yeah, they're trash. Trash by Sierra. I took a shower. Then I went back to my friend Brianna's house. Then we went for a walk, got smoothies chilled for a little bit and then she took me to the airport I back to Houston took a shower and then very random went out to meet my new little friend but it was cool and I was happy to see him love that for me and here we are but y'all this vlog is dragging I haven't posted a weekly vlog in like two weeks I think I need to get this vlog edited. I love you all. I'm not really feeling my best. I want to get cleaned up, get my house together. Back to reality. I've been, I was in Atlanta for like five days. I had a ball. I have been on go since Saturday, really since Friday. I need to enjoy some good sleep tonight. And we'll start a new vlog probably on Saturday or Sunday. Tomorrow I'm taking a break. Um, I love you all so much boss babes and I want you all to go out and make sure you vote your voice matters and we really need Kamala to win this election okay love y'all bye